Hey guys, how's it going? I've got a quick video for you today. I wanted to talk to you about my new project and that is my new electric bass boat. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you may have seen the pictures of it a couple of weeks ago. It is a 1984 Hydrosport uh, 16 foot 4 inch X260, I believe is the model number. Um, I basically bought it without a motor, but it does have a lot of parts with it. Uh, it came with two trolling motors, two gator mounts, uh, a lot of extra parts. It's had a lot of work done to it. It's going to be a great little boat to get on some of these small lakes and ponds that don't allow gasoline engines. So what am I going to do to it? Well, first of all, let's take a look at the boat itself and I'll go over kind of what I've, what I've got to start with. So this is the basic hull. Uh, as you can see, it is a... Uh, fairly stripped down boat at the moment the it's had a lot of work done to it the carpet was pulled up all the hatches were removed uh, there were two more large storage compartments right there that were added um, the other thing that really makes this boat stand out from a lot of others like it was the fact that the person who had it before me had bought it with the intention of doing a complete restoration on it so as you can see that floor is all near new and what he actually did was he actually split the hull he un undid the screws all the way around the the gunnel split the hull and you can see back here he actually replaced a lot of the glass he replaced all of the stringers glassed everything in painted it with waterproof paint and then he reassembled it all and it was about that time that he lost interest in it one of the cool things that he did if you see these round holes every so foot or so you'll see that they're in a line and the reason is is that what he did was he actually drilled those holes and filled the hull with expandable foam after he put the top cap back on so this is going to be an incredibly solid boat okay so what exactly am i going to do with it well first of all i'm going to put a couple of batteries in it i'm going to put a bilge pump in it I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put uh, a charger in it so I can basically plug it in and then unplug it and head to the lake. Um, I'm going to put a uh, I'm going to put a trolling motor in the front, and that's probably going to be it. Uh, I've got two different trolling motors that actually came with the boat. Uh, I believe both of them are 55 pound, 24 volt. I've got to uh, run the wiring, which I'm in the process of doing right now. And I've got to put a couple of batteries in it as well, which I don't currently have. Other than that, I'm not going to do a lot to it. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to have to make the storage compartment lids for the two storage compartments that were added to it. And then I'm going to have to put carpet in it. Uh, I'm not going to put any seats down here where I would, where you would normally be sitting when a, an outboard was running. I'm basically going to have uh, a seat in the back. Uh, for my fiance to sit in when she's fishing with me and in the front I'm going to be standing most of the time anyway so it's not even going to be uh, uh, a real issue this is a craft that I plan on having the water having on the water three four five hour intervals at a time so I'm not really worried about had adding a lot of the other things that you would normally see on a bass boat that I'm going to take out and have on the lake you know for four or five days at a time uh, you know on a camping trip or on a long fishing trip or something this is basically going to be one day trips uh, to a few coastal lakes and ponds that uh, are known to have some big fish in them so that's what I'm going to be targeting um, but uh, got a lot a lot of a uh, lot of neat things that uh, I plan to do to it I'll show those to you along the way uh, not going to get real crazy with it I'm going to do a few things to enhance the uh, cosmetics of it uh, not a lot mostly I'm going to be making it as you know uh, purely for function to get onto these small bodies of water uh, not to mention the fact that the price was right uh, I came up with the whole idea of finding a boat like this and doing something like this to actually buying this one in the span of about four days right after I came up with the idea started looking online I saw this for sale I went and talked to the guy a few days later and I actually, when I went to look at it, it had an outboard on it. 
I asked the guy if he would consider selling it without the outboard and as luck would have it his son was already talking to him about selling the outboard separately anyway so when I made him the offer of buying just the boat and the trailer uh, he was all over it and he made me a really good deal that I just simply could not pass up uh, to give you an idea if you go on my Instagram you'll see that the day before I bought the boat I bought two reels and I actually paid more for two reels that were over 50% off than I paid for the boat the trailer the two motor guide trolling motors that go with it the two gator mounts and all the boxes with all the parts so yeah can't go wrong so one of the other things that I noticed in this boat when I was going through it was this sticker on the inside of the rod locker lid and that is a sticker that came with it looks like sports the field magazine probably sponsored by Budweiser and it has fish catching tips for six of your most popular freshwater species largemouth bass trout bluegill catfish crappie and walleye and for each one of those fish it tells you where to catch them the best lures catching ways and desperation tactic so even though I probably won't be using any of those tips and tricks it's kind of a neat little nostalgic thing that uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave there so one of the other things you can see up front here is that this boat has had a couple different things mounted on front at one point in time this here was a trolling motor mount and I'm not sure which one this was uh, it definitely was not either one of the gator mounts that I've gotten it got with the boat uh, this is also very short and the thing is is that the surface area of that gator mount does not fit on an area in the front of this boat which is perfectly flat so I will have to put this at a little bit of an angle uh, I'm gonna have to drill new holes and mount that um, uh, accordingly so that it's nice and stable and I'm also gonna have to fix some of these holes up front uh, that have been drilled previously something else that I will be doing on this is I will be putting a recessed pedal tray in the floor um, once I get uh, once I get that pedal tray I probably will make a video on how to do the install on that as well uh, I'm gonna be filling up all these little holes up front here in the floor prior to putting the carpet in it which uh, the carpet will probably be done uh, within the next couple of months uh, I will try to make a video on that as well and um, yeah I'm gonna have to finish off the floor here a little bit too as you can see there is um, a little bit more work that needs to be done in here before I can go ahead and put a carpet in here and uh, make it uh, look the way I want it to when I'm done so there it is there's my tiny boat my electric boat tour um, leave a comment below let me know what you think of it let me know what you would want to do if you had this boat and you had this project on your hands uh, really looking forward to seeing some of those comments make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and we will see you later